Hey you guys, it's Anne Marie. Da, 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 da. Happy Sage of the Soul Saturday. It has been magical. Um, if you've never joined me before, hi, I'm Anne Marie. I'm Sage of the Soul. And this is Ra. Ra is my number one, my number one tree. She's told me her stories before. And what I love about trees is that no matter the weather, the storms, no matter the elements that come at the trees, they can't go anywhere and they withstand them and still grow. And well, they actually can get up and go. If you've ever seen a tree get up and walk, if you never thought you were crazy, you will think that when you see that. <laughs> Anywho, so I thought we would. So that's raw. Hopefully not me, but oh well. Um, because we're going to do something here like we've done before. So I want you to think about... Um, not nothing specifically, but just asking spirit right now, what is it that you need to release and what is it that you need to focus on? I'm going to shuffle the tarot deck and I'll pause it to find the death card. Keep shuffling here. And the card that is before the death card is what you need to release and the card after the death card is what you need to focus on. So let me pause it. What's at the bottom of the deck? Not a wand, of course. Um, let me pause it and find the death card. Well, isn't this just interesting? So I, it was maybe halfway through the deck. Oops. Um, and so the card that was before the death card, what you need to release is your recklessness, your manipulation um, that you're holding back. You need to release the things that you're holding back in in your life. Spirit also gave me the message that what you need to release is focusing on the manipulation in your life. If you know you're being manipulated or if you know you manipulate people, that's something that you need to let go of. And what you need to bring in is the sun, happiness, optimism, success, vitality, and truth. So with the full card that... You may be manipulating yourself into believing certain things about people. You may be under manipulation from people who have made hasty decisions, who have been careless with your energy, have been careless with your ideas, who have been um, careless and reckless with your soul and spirit, is what the spirit just said. There needs to be a death to that because the sun card is what you need to bring in. And you need to focus on your happiness. You need to focus on being a truth seeker, a truth teller. If you can't be honest with yourself, how do you expect other people to be honest with you? What other card can we, what other, what's another, the page of cups? Yeah. <laughs> you have, you're very creative and you have these fresh ideas and it's like I almost see someone who's kind of like stuck in what's happened to them in the past in a sense or shaming yourself and having guilt for the choices that you've made in the past. And so spirit is wanting you to start to focus on your own happiness, your truth. What is your truth? What is the sun in your life? What, does, what needs to be illuminated in your life? What needs to be illuminated in the collective's life? Spirit, show me. What needs to be illuminated? Number 44, home. Are there some things in your home? Maybe not physically, but your home that need to be illuminated? Are there some truths that need to be spoken? Do you need to speak some truths to yourself or to those around you? Keep in mind that they're authentic and coming from a good place and not out of your ego, not out of a painful place. I know this message is kind of going to place. I'm just whatever spirit has given me here. There may be some manipulations in your home or what you consider your home. There may be two people involved. There may be some distractions. This Oh, number 34. Wow, ancient wisdom. Huh. 
So you have ancient wisdom within your DNA, within your roots that you haven't tapped into. There may have been people in your, this is interesting, there may have been people in your energy trying to manipulate scenarios in your life or to gaslight you, to prevent you from digging deep into your roots, your home, to pull out this ancient wisdom that you have that's from the divine. Wow. There needs to be a death. And you know, the death card also, <laughs> Represents change, change and transformation. Death, that's always, you know, it's like when I lived in North Carolina and they would burn the fields. I remember freaking out and calling 911 because <laughs> I didn't, I, it was my first time living in the country and I didn't know that that's how they cleared the fields. And because their crops would grow a lot better the following year, they had to just burn everything down. And so Spirit is saying that maybe within yourself or within this group, these people, that there needs to be a change and a transformation. And going with the flow and recognizing that not everybody here in the matrix needs to be in your life. And a hawk just landed right above me. Oh my God, I can see his wings through the... They're bringing in change to you. Spirit's trying to bring in, and the last reading I did, it's a thing about transformation. Spirit's trying to bring in this death and rebirth to you and trying to get you to open your eyes about the manipulation around you that has been preventing you from seeing who you really are, the ancient wisdom that you hold. They're very conniving. They play in your face. They don't want you to see the truth about you because if you see the truth about you, you'll see the truth about them. Thank you, duck. Quack, quack. What do the animal spirits have to say then? What do the animal spirits have to say? Spirit, show me what you look like. What do the animal spirits have to say? Show me, spirit. It's like you're holding on to this and you've persevered and perseverance this is a message of patience whatever is going on right now you cannot be so um, impetuous by pacing yourself the end results will be far more rewarding slow down don't rush work carefully and learn to accept help from others right accept help from the right people accept help from the divine when spirit shows you something's not meant for you and you keep just trucking along like, I know this person isn't good for me. I know this job isn't good for me. I know this city or this situation is not good for me. But I'm just going to keep on doing it because I don't want to put the work in because I'm afraid of what's on the other side of that. If I walk away from that, then spirit will create a death. Not literally, but a, some type of tower. I'm surprised the tower card didn't come out. Um, some type of tower so you can really see that there's some things in your life that need, there needs to be death put to it. the ant card do we uh we're almost at nine minutes do we wanna someone's putting their head in the sand i don't number th 31 which would be four i'll be damned omens and there's a bird <laughs> literally i love it and there are good omens, too. So omens give a bad connotation, but there's good omens and there's bad omens. And so Spirit's like, I've been giving them signs that this is a good omen, that this person or this job or the city or the situation is manipulating them. And I'm trying to show them that there's a better path, there's a better way. But there's this fear. But shit, there's this fear. Oh, we're almost out of time. I want to know what this fear is. Ah, 43, letting go. You're afraid to let go. This has probably been your home. It's people, the situation is comfortable. It's comfortable to stay stuck. Don't stay stuck. I hope you're healthy and happy, full of joy.